Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo the EVR. Today we will play Survival Nation. And as the name says, this is a survival game. We are in a camp. We have some quests. We can loot. We have to um, yeah, find some food and drinks. We can craft loot, uh, yeah, quests a lot and we can explore the world. And I will show you some scenes about this really cool game. Thank you to my sponsors, Vutus VR, Open Money Events, Virtual Escape, Slim Beats and Aeroflight as Flight Simulator. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de Survival Nation, guys. So, the game is currently available on a Pico and it will also be available on Steam it's very soon and um, on PlayStation VR and Meta later yeah so the story starts we, we are just uh, uh, we can create a character uh, female or male then the look a little bit not not much just a little bit and then we start in a camp we um, have some NPCs there um, they give us quests for uh, for the beginning how can we uh, change everything how can we um, well. Yeah, for our clothes or, or, or uh, to cook something or, or anything, uh, to, to train with the weapons, uh, melee and um, uh, pistol for example, some zombies or stuff. And everything is just about surviving. Uh, there's no big story, we just have to survive in the camp and have to uh, fulfill some tasks and stuff. And of course, killing zombies. That's it so far. So the graphics are... Um, all in all, it's good when you uh, have an overlook of the um, area that looks pretty good. But even when you put the graphics on Ultra, there are some really muddy textures that don't fit in this game. It's really crazy. And, and that's killing the immersion a little bit. It's not a big problem, but I really noticed that. And what I really also saw is that everything is very linear so you you can not get away from the official ways so, so jump on a rock or so it's just like a hidden wall you have to stay on the way um, to the next quest and there is nothing else you can do that's a little bit uh, I would recommend that we can um, leave the ways a little bit or something yeah for the controls they are pretty effective they are good it feels immersive so we have a small wheel here where we can um, see the, um, uh, if we are hungry, thirsty, energy and stuff. On the other hand, we have um, the wheel for weapons or, 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 or um, f uh, f flask for, for, for drinking or bottle. And that's really cool. All the movements, you just uh, move it to your uh, mouth and then you can drink that. That's, that's nice. Or if you um, craft something, you have a spear and a, um, a piece of meat and you put it there. And then you just uh, do the barbecue over the campfire. That's uh, really nice. And then you can just eat it by holding it on on your mouth and so on that's really nice uh, also the menus are nice you you see the quests you have a map um, everything is explained very good you see the steps of the quests. there you have your inventory and all that stuff skill tree really nice so you can play the game sitting and uh, standing you can also um, climb there are even some climb quests that's really nice where you have to find something or so yeah, and for the gameplay, yeah, most thing, most of the time you do just uh, some quests. Yeah, for example, kill seven zombies or or yeah, uh, um, find uh, this NPC or bring something to this NPC. That's nice. That are standard quests, nothing special, but also not very bad. There were also some side quests. Yeah, um, where you, uh, for example, you have to kill a fox or so. And with the side quest, you can get uh, money and experience. And that's uh, really nice. Um, so that's uh, um, a good thing. Um, we can buy, with the money, we can buy stuff. Uh, with the uh, skill points, we can unlock, like, for example, bow and arrow to hunt animals better than with the weapon, of course. And that's, uh, that's uh, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so... All in all, the quests are, are really uh, interesting, um, but nothing really special. So, all in all, the game, I think it's a good game. I had a lot of fun. I played it like an hour or, or a little bit more. I, I don't know um, 
but I had a lot of fun with that. What I really love is the controls of, uh, of everything. It's, it's really nice, it's immersive. Um, you can also play all that stuff in multiplayer, what, what is really cool. Uh, what I dislike is that the uh, uh, gameplay is very linear, so you cannot leave your ways. It's just straight ahead and uh, not going left or right or something. Um, the graphics are so have sometimes the problem with the muddy textures and so on. But all in all, I think uh, that's a really nice game. Um, for example, when you hunt uh, the, the zombies, it feels really nice to, to hit them with something. Yeah, that's, that's so cool. And um, what, what, But uh, I think the melee weapons are cooler than the ranged weapons. It's also easier to kill the zombies with that. They drop stuff like uh, metal pieces or so where you can craft uh, um, um, stuff later. Um, so what I really think about is uh, how long is that fun? I, I'm pretty sure you can have um, hours fun with this game. But uh, I don't know if I would play that two weeks or so. I, I'm not sure because everything looks pretty similar. Yeah, however, everything is nice. So uh, I recommend the game. I give this thumbs up. I hope you give me thumbs up. That would be awesome. And thank you for watching. See you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Wurde.de